Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you with the upcoming TNA Destination X um, pay-per-view. It's always weird calling them pay-per-views when they're not really pay-per-views anymore. Um, but uh, the big show that's going to be on Impact on Thursday, I thought I would uh, do a video for all my DVD uh, collectors out there for you. Basically, it's going to be the TNA Destination X collection. Uh, there's been eight uh, Destination X uh, DVDs released throughout the years. Uh, starting with Destination X 2005, uh, going all the way to 2012. Um, uh, these are most of the time good shows. Honestly, there's a, a few in the middle where it falls off. Um, but uh, it, it's a reason why I believe I wish TNA made more compilation DVDs. Uh, where basically, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, Jeff Hardy's been lucky enough to get two volumes. AJ Styles has been able, uh, lucky enough to get two volumes. But guys like Christopher Daniels, Kurt Angle, Sting. That's easy money to be made by putting, you know, these guys' matches on discs. I mean, Kurt Angle and Sting, easily you could have done, like, a best of each year that they've been there. And there's another DVD to sell on on the uh, Shop TNA and, and make a few bucks. But uh, if you're like me, you're smart, you waited to the Black November sales, five bucks, you can get all of these for 40 bucks. And uh, you get to add to your collection. We'll start with uh, Destination X 2005. This is a beautiful DVD cover. Uh, one of the, the ones that always stands out. I was lucky enough to get this signed by Christopher Daniels at uh, WrestleFest this year. I always like the way they did the X. It looks like it's like a relic. Uh, if you were into you know collecting uh, sports cards or anything like that, it looked like it would be like a piece of the ring or a piece of his tights or something like that. But um, this one has got the uh, King of the Mountain. Uh, Jeff Jarrett going up against DDP uh, in the main event. Nothing really to write home about, but then you have the Ultimate X match for the X Division Championship. You got AJ, you got Christopher Daniels, uh, Ron Killings, Our Truth, and uh, Elix Skipper in there. Uh, nothing really uh, much to, to talk about, about about this show. Um, that Ultimate X match is really good. I honestly can't even tell you who won the uh, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship match between Jarrett and Page. Uh, DDP was never the champion, so I guess that'd be my money that Jarrett would win that one. From there, we'll move to uh, Destination X 2006, one of the greatest matches that's ever been held in a TNA ring before. I think everybody either has this DVD or has this match uh, that's on here. Ultimate X match for the X Division Championship, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, and Christopher Daniels. Uh, I know that they re they tried to recreate this years later, uh, but this match stands alone easily as one of the best matches that TNA's ever done. Um, really, really good stuff. We got Christian Cage going up against Monty Brown. Uh, Monty Brown, a, a great TNA talent who did go to WWE. Uh, he did test the waters. He, he had a family emergency. And he ba basically left uh, shortly after he, he made his WrestleMania debut. But what a talent that guy was to come to uh, do wrestling after being in the NFL. Uh, always wish we would have saw more of him. Um, you know, Team 3D had joined at this time. It looks like there's a great international X showcase with Petey Williams, Chris Sabin, Sanjay Dutt, and Puma uh, in this one. So basically, I think this is a really, a really good show. Also, a hidden gem on here is uh, Jay Lethal against Alex Shelley. Really, before they were really starting to get recognized. Uh, from there, we'll move to uh, 2007 Destination X. Um, this is one of those shows that uh, really has a lot of matches, but. Uh, isn't great. You got the World Heavyweight uh, title match, Christian Cage against Samoa Joe. The Elevation X match, a match that uh, you know, um, AJ Styles said that he just wishes he would have back. You know, basically, they didn't even tell him and uh, him and Rhino what the match was going to be until basically the day of the event. They didn't give him any time to uh, go up there and practice the spots that they wanted to pull off. The match is what it is, but uh, it's one that AJ Styles says is probably one of the worst of his career. Uh, Sting versus Abyss in the last rights match. You got Angle versus Steiner. Uh, you got Chris Sabin against Jerry Lynn, and uh, that makes that one. Um, then we go to uh, 2008, Destination X. Pretty cool cover there. James Storm going up against Rhino in a pretty big feud. Um, that had to do with uh, James Storm drinking beer, Rhino uh, being... Uh, Anti-alcohol, uh, basically. Um, the uh, six-man main event is uh, Angle, Styles, and Tomko going up against Samoa Joe, Christian Cage, and Kevin Nash. We have another Elevation X match. Uh, that's uh, Rhino versus James Storm. Why did they do that again after the first time? Uh, then we got uh, Jay Lethal going up against Petey Williams for the X Division Championship. And... Um, 
That looks like about all the highlights off of that one. Uh, from there, we'll move to 2009 Destination X. Um, this one here is uh, the World Heavyweight Championship. You got Kurt Angle uh, going up against Sting, uh, Jeff Jarrett, and Mick Foley as special guest referees. Uh, you got the Ultimate X match: Alex Shelley uh, versus Chris Sabin versus Jay Lethal versus Consequence, Consequence Creed versus Suicide. That one's really good. You got a Team 3D against Beer Money match on there. Can't go wrong with that. Um, Scott Steiner versus Samoa Joe, not the original, but still uh, going to be a good match. Steiner and Joe always had good chemistry. They always really worked uh, worked well together. Uh, moving from there, we'll go to um, 2010. Uh, this is when Hulk Hogan came into the company. And there was drastic changes. This is the, the first show that's not held inside the six-sided uh, ring. Um, Abyss versus, uh, versus AJ Styles. We've got Mr. Anderson against Kurt Angle. Beer Money against Matt Morgan and Hernandez. Um... Oh, good God. I, I honestly, until I saw this on this DVD cover, forgot, forgot about the click uh, or the band. I guess they call them Scott. Uh, Scott Hall and X-Pac uh, against uh, Kevin Nash and Eric Young. Oh, good God. <laughs> That's horrible. They leave him out to dry. Uh, they, and then the next week on Impact, they ask Eric Young to join the group. Eh. It is what it is. <laughs> wow. I want to know if I have a Destination X 2010 review on my channel. I want to go back and relive that one. Uh, from there, we'll move to Destination X 2011. This was the return to the six-sided ring. Uh, I guess you can give away by the sticker on there that I haven't had a chance to check this one out. But uh, off the top of my head, you got uh, AJ uh, going up against um, Christopher Daniels uh, in the main event uh, to sort of go back to, to what really put them on the plate. This was supposed to be a special show where basically it showed Eric Bischoff that we cared about the X Division, that, you know, put some people in there that make the biggest care about it. Um, you know, we have uh, Motor City Machine Guns. Um, no, that's a different show. Okay, I'm at the cheat. Uh, you got the Young Bucks going up against Eric Young and uh, Shark Boy. Uh, you got uh, Alex Shelley versus uh, Shannon Moore versus Robbie E uh, versus Amazing Red and the Ultimate X. Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. And uh, then you got uh, the uh, Abyss going up against Brian Kendrick, X Division Championship. Then we got Destination X 2012. Got this one signed by Austin Aries. Pretty cool cover there. Uh, this is where Austin Aries, uh, you know, he had his uh, really, really long run. Uh, with the X Division Championship, he really beat everyone there is the, the face for him. So they gave him an opportunity to cash in uh, the X Division Championship and go after the world title. Uh, that's when he beat Bobby Roode. Uh, he, he got to be on the cover. But one of my gripes about this DVD is that when you open it up and you look at the back, you normally see the highlighted matches that you're supposed to see there. If you get like the... Um, that December to Dismember, that, that that DVD is so bad that they really thought that helping sell it would be not putting the matches on the back. It only makes it look like there's there's two matches on the show. It doesn't even list Austin Aries' match against Bobby Roode on the back of here. You just have to look at the cover and know that's what it's going to be. Uh, from here, they give you a Bound for Glory series match. Uh, Samoa Joe against Kurt Angle. Um, we got... Um, um, uh, Daniels versus AJ in a last man standing match, and Samoa Joe versus, uh, what? They put it on there twice. Look, here, Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. Maybe that's the reason why it doesn't say, um, the Austin Aries match. Um, but, uh, that's gonna be the collection. Uh, 2013, of course, was a, uh, Spike TV special. Um, so they didn't put it out on DVD. Um, that's, of course, where Chris Sabin won the championship uh, by beating uh, Bully Ray, being the first guy to really beat uh, the Aces and Eights. Um, so, um, yeah, it would have been good to have, but uh, I guess they didn't want us to have it. So that's the collection. Hope you guys have a good Thursday watching Impact. Uh, check out the Destination X uh, pay-per-view. Uh, I think everybody wants to know what's going to happen with TNA from here on out. Um, so uh, root them on. You know, a good rating couldn't help, uh, couldn't hurt him at this point, I guess, pretty much.